Ever heard those stories about people achieving incredible things against all odds? Well, get ready, because today we're diving into one of those stories. Mm -hmm. The story of Charles Aznavour. Wow. Okay. There's a new biopic out about him called Monsieur Aznavour, playing at CGR Cinemas. Interesting. So you've probably heard his music. I mean, the guy's a legend, right? Yeah, for sure. But we're going deeper today. Yeah. Like, who was this guy? Yeah. What made him tick? How did he get from, well, from basically nothing to a global icon? That's what I love about these deep dives. You never know what you're going to find. Right. Okay. So the, the film's tagline really caught my eye. It says, he had everything against him. Yeah. Which, I mean, come on. That's got to make you curious. Oh, yeah, totally. Makes you wonder what was so stacked against him. Well, to start, the guy was the son of refugees, Armenian refugees who landed in Paris. Not exactly an easy start. No, not at all. I mean, talk about starting from scratch. Exactly. And it wasn't just about being poor, although there were definitely that too. As an Avor's voice, the very thing that later made him famous, people saw it as a problem early on. They thought it was too raspy, too nasal. Can you believe that? Wow, huh. You know what, that's like a classic underdog story right there. And it makes his success even more impressive. Doesn't it? It makes you think about like all the things people told him he couldn't do and then he just goes and does it anyway. Yeah. Okay, so before we get too far, remind us, who exactly was Charles Aznavour? Like, why is he considered this monument of French culture? Oh, he was so much more than just a singer. I mean, right. he was a songwriter, composer, actor, you name it. Oh, and a political activist too, right? Yes, absolutely. He was very outspoken about his views, especially on Armenian issues. He actually wrote and performed a song called Pourquoi Armenie, which raised millions for humanitarian aid after the 1988 earthquake. See, this is what I mean about going deeper. You think you know someone, and then bam, there's this whole other layer. Right, I mean, his influence stretched way beyond music. He was a symbol of resilience for a lot of people, especially immigrants. That's a good point. Okay, so the film itself, it's a biopic, a drama. It's two hours and 13 minutes long. Okay, not too bad. Not bad at all. And it's coming out today, October 23rd, 2024. That's pretty exciting. That is exciting. Now, this is just me being visual, but I gotta say, the movie's website, has this gallery of pictures of Aznavour throughout his career. Oh, cool. And it's amazing. You can literally see how he changes it, how his image evolves right alongside his music. It's like this visual representation of his journey, you know? I get it. That's a great way to see the transformation, to see how he grew as an artist. Right. And they have this interview on the website, too, with the filmmakers, even the lead actor, Tahar Rahim. Sounds super insightful. Oh, I'd love to hear what they have to say. Especially the actor, you know, getting into the character's headspace. I know, right. <laughs> okay, so getting back to Aznavour's music for a second. I was reading that he sang in like a zillion languages, right? No, not quite a zillion. Okay, okay, but close. He did perform in over 90 countries and sang in at least five languages fluently. French, Armenian, English, Italian, and Spanish. Yeah, that's incredible. And his songs were translated into over a dozen other languages. I mean, think about a song like La Boheme. Oh yeah, classic. Right, audiences from all over the world connected with it, whether they were in Argentina or Japan. Everyone could relate to the themes of nostalgia and those youthful dreams. That's the power of music, right? It transcends language barriers. Exactly. You know, you think about French culture, it's easy to get stuck on the cliches like the romantic stuff. Oh, totally. But Aznavour, he brought something different to the table. He did. His music was raw. It dealt with complex emotions, societal issues, things that other artists weren't really touching at the time. Right, like war, poverty, heartbreak real life stuff. Right. Take his song, Les Emigrants. It's this incredibly moving reflection on the immigrant experience. People who left their homes, their families, seeking a better life. It resonated so deeply with them. It makes you realize that French culture isn't just one thing. It's this tapestry of different voices and experiences. Exactly. And that's why Asmore's music still resonates today. It wasn't just about catchy melodies. It was about reflecting the human experience in all its complexity. It's timeless. Okay, so back to the against all odds thing for a second. Mm -hmm. One thing that really struck me about Aznavour was his perseverance. This guy faced rejection after rejection early in his career. People told him he should never make it, but he never gave up. He had this incredible work ethic. He just kept honing his craft, experimenting with different styles until he found his unique voice. And that's a lesson for all of us, right? Success isn't always a straight line. 
There are going to be bumps in the roads, moments where you doubt yourself, where giving up seems easier. Oh, for sure. But Asnavor shows us what happens when you push through those obstacles, when you believe in yourself and keep going. Absolutely. It's about passion, about that unwavering commitment to your dream. And if Asnavor could rise from basically nothing to achieve global acclaim, it makes you wonder, what's one thing you've been putting off because of self-doubt? Ooh, that's a good one. Right. Yeah. What would it take for you to chase after that dream with the same kind of fire that Asnavor had? So if you're looking for a little inspiration, a reminder that anything is possible, go check out Monsieur Asnavor. It's an incredible story. It really is. This whole deep dive has just been, I don't know, it's been really inspiring. Charles Asnavor's life proves that talent, hard work, and that refusal to give up, it can really take you anywhere. It really can. So, yeah, go check out the film. Let us know what you think. Yeah, we'd love to hear from you. And until next time, keep diving deep, everyone. See you then.